The Jazz PX is a pulse xenon light source for the Jazz Modular Spectrometer. It is a pulsed short arc xenon lamp, especially used for UV vis applications such as absorbance, bioreflectance, fluorescence, and phosphorescence. In this video, we'll show you how to properly operate the PX in free running and triggered modes. We'll also operate the PX directly through the Jazz DPU and then through SpectraSuite software by Ocean Optics. The Jazz PX Pulse Xenon Light Source has a maximum pulse rate of 200 Hz, a spectral range of 190 to 1100 nanometers, and can operate for up to three hours on the Jazz battery module alone. It's important to recognize the different power modes offered on the Jazz Spectrometer. These are external power and battery power. When running the PX for extended periods, we recommend connecting the Jazz to a wall outlet and operating in external power mode. Once your Jazz Spectrometer is powered on, you can find these options by navigating from the main Jazz menu. Choose the PX Lamp menu item and enter Setup. Select Advanced Settings and finally Power Mode. In this case, we're currently running in Battery Power Mode. Pressing the triangle button on the Jazz TPU will toggle the setting between External and Battery Power Mode. We will remain in External Power Mode for the remainder of this video. The advantage of using External Power Mode is that it enables you to utilize the full capabilities of the light source. This includes setting the intensity control up to 600 volts and the pulse rate to up to 500 hertz. There are two modes of operation for the Jazz PX. The first is free running mode. While in free running mode, the light source is not synchronized to any other element in the Jazz system. To access free running mode, select the PX lamp daemon, enter setup, timing controls, choose free running mode, and then click enable. The PX lamp is now set to free running mode. Now press X to return to setup and press the triangle button to select parameters. Here is where we'll set our flash rate. For this setup, we've chosen a rate of 10 Hz. Pressing X twice returns us to the PX settings. Here you'll choose to enable the strobe. The Jazz PX is now operating in free running mode at a flash rate of 10 Hz. Note that if the Jazz spectrometer is turned off, your parameters will automatically be reset. Triggered mode is also recommended for PX operation. In triggered mode, the PX is synchronized with the stack trigger. This is similar to the legacy single strobe mode used with the original PX2 light source but the Jazz PX allows for multiple pulses per integration period. To enter triggered mode, navigate to the PX lamp menu. Here we will enable the strobe. Return to the system tools and select triggering. Clicking the pound button selects internal triggering. Now press the triangle button to set the rate. In this video, we have chosen a rate of 100 Hz. Notice that we have connected an R400 reflection probe to the Jazz PX, and you can see that the lamp has started to pulse. Remember, the PX produces ultraviolet radiation that can cause permanent eye damage. Always wear safety eyewear during operation and never look directly into the light source. Our final step is to return to the spectrometer menu. Press the star button to choose lamp control and then press the triangle button to choose the lamp. The Jazz will detect the PX module in the third module location unless multiple spectrometers are included in your stack. This particular Jazz stack has only one spectrometer module so we press pound to choose the PX. 
We are now running the Jazz PX in triggered mode and ready to perform an experiment. To perform a basic reflectance measurement, you will need the QR4000-7 Viz NIR Reflection Probe, an RPH1 Reflection Probe Holder, a WS1 White Reflection Standard, and a sample to measure. In this demonstration, we'll be measuring an orange piece of note paper. Making proper connections to the reflection probe is critical. The SMA905 connector with six illumination fibers should be connected to the PX module. The SMA905 connector with a single reed fiber should be connected to the Jazz spectrometer module. In the spectroscopy menu of the Jazz interface, select Reflectance Transmittance. With the reflection probe placed into the RPH1 and the RPH1 placed onto the WS1, you can press triangle to collect a reference measurement. Then by clicking pound, we automatically disable the PX and take a dark reference. Now we will move the RPH1 onto the post-it note and choose sample in the reflection menu. We now see a reflectance spectrum displayed on the jazz. Finally, let's take a look at Jazz PX function in SpectraSuite software from Ocean Optics. For a fresh start, we've turned off the jazz to reset our current parameters. Now we'll connect the jazz to our computer with the mini USB cable. Turn your jazz on and open SpectraSuite. We'll now walk you through the process of setting up the Jazz PX in free running mode. We see that the jazz has appeared in the data sources pane. Right click on the jazz image and access the spectrometer features. Select the internal trigger tab. We'll set the trigger source to internal and the trigger period to 10 milliseconds. You can either close this window or keep it active for future changes. Back in the main SpectraSuite window, click Strobe Lamp Enable and we're off and running. Now we'll cover the recommended method of running the Jazz PX in triggered mode with SpectraSuite. In the Data Sources pane, select the current acquisition of the Jazz Spectrometer. Then, clicking on the External Trigger drop-down menu, we select External Hardware. The software, spectrometer, and light source are now completely synced, preventing any dropouts in your spectral data. We hope this video has helped you understand the basic setup and operation of the Jazz PX Pulse Xenon Light Source Module. For more helpful videos like this one, be sure to visit spectroscopytv.com or look for the Ocean Optics channel on your favorite video website. And for more information on Jazz and the other spectroscopy products from Ocean Optics, be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com.